The man fishing in the Kaipara Harbour on the afternoon the Francis sunk says the disaster could have been much worse because 21 people were originally due to be out fishing that day. Seven people drowned and one is still missing after the charter boat capsized on Saturday. But Payal Williams says it could have been worse if 10 others hadn't pulled out at the last minute. He spoke to our reporter, Alex Ashton. At about one o'clock on Saturday afternoon, Taya Williams was on a fishing boat in the Kaipara Harbour. His captain received a call from the Francis skipper, the late Bill McNatty, from across the bar. Received a call from, from Bill that um, they are on their way back. They were sailing at two knots. So how fast is two knots? And what he was saying, he doesn't think they can cross the bar. Tyre Williams' vessel waited inside the harbour, keeping watch for the Francie as it tried to get back over the bar. Hours passed, a rescue chopper went overhead, then the call came from the police. Captain saying that they found they found the boat, went over, and they found six bodies, three alive and three dead, and then another five missing. Yeah. Some of those known by Mr Williams, fellow Cook Islander Fred Masters and Arepa Arepa who survived the tragedy. Taya Williams says 10 more people were due to be on board the Francie that day, including his two brothers. There were 21 going on the Francie and then all these people suddenly pull up, just like my two brothers. Well, my brother, he decided about two weeks ago he knew something's not right. These other six people, they say, they say they can't make it. He says two more were late to the wharf that morning due to go out on the Francie, but ended up on his boat. Some are questioning why the Francie skipper, Bill McNatty, went over the bar that day in such rough conditions. And another Kaipara skipper says he'd previously raised concern with Mr McNatty's operation. Taya Williams didn't know Bill McNatty and has never been out with him, but he's heard those concerns. My friends and my brother are telling me funny stories about him. Funny how? Like, um, he takes the risk, he doesn't care and all that. That's all I can say, but yeah. I, to me, when I hear these stories, it's a... Uh, Francine is that this is the waiting to happen. Taya Williams has one hope from this tragedy, that now when people go out in the Kaipara Harbour, they wear a life jacket. And he says out of respect to the families of the deceased, he's staying out of the water for at least the rest of the year. Meanwhile, the police are still searching for Tolangi Afamasaga, who's been missing since the Francie capsized. For Checkpoint, Alex Ashton.